a lot to go through. In 2018, Natalie Long in Portland found a mole on her skin that she wasn't so sure about. It was just something that I decided to get checked out on a whim. And a good thing she did. At 23 years old, she had skin cancer. It was a huge shock to me. Natalie is far from alone, even while being conscious of UV exposure. Because we don't live in a state where it's so sunny and skin cancer is constantly top of mind, that it flies under the radar for a lot of folks. Oregon ranks in the top 14 states for risk of melanoma. Nationally, it's the most common form of cancer, with nearly 110,000 Americans diagnosed last year. More than 7,000 died. Every year, the incidence of melanoma is significantly increasing. Arup Indra is professor of pharmaceutical sciences at Oregon State University and leader of an international study to prevent skin cancer. We need to think sooner than later. His team found that a certain protein called TR1 can help cells heal themselves from UV damage, and he thinks a vaccine could stimulate that protein production. Kind of a super booster. He says a vaccine like Pfizer and Moderna's mRNA COVID shot could be the answer. mRNA teaches your body to fight disease without ever being exposed to the germ, or in this case, cancer cells. A new vaccine using that technology could teach your cells how to produce more TR1 protein and boost your response to any damaged and potentially cancerous cells. We are really excited. It could take a few more years before a vaccine is ready for human trials. But researchers in Oregon and as far away as Japan are optimistic. In the meantime, doctors at the American Academy of Dermatology say getting checked saves lives. If you catch a melanoma early, it is 99% curable. Cut it out, it is out. And I'm fortunate that I got it checked early enough. Natalie's skin cancer did not spread. She had the spot removed and now does routine checks every few months. News of a potential vaccine for those at risk is news she'll be following. It totally changed the way that I look at my own health. Galen Etlin, KGW News.